Hello, my name's Susie and I'm going to do a few YouTube videos on craft and art activities that you can do at home. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to make some egg cups. This is what we're going to aim towards. It's a rabbit egg cup made from a pinch pot. In order to do this, I'll just go through the equipment you're going to need. You're going to need an apron because no matter what you do, you're going to end up dirty and nobody likes washing. You need a board that you can work on. I'll just angle it so you can see. You need a board that you can work on and that can wash clean or it could be a table or, or a chopping surface. We need an, a notepad that you can draw on, a sketch pad uh, or plain paper, pencil with a rubber on the end, a pot with some water, a paintbrush, a cocktail stick, So here we have a ball of clay. Always the first thing you need to do with the clay is to wedge it. This for two reasons. It'll make sure that there's no big air bubbles in it and it also makes sure that it's the same consistency all the way through. So it might be a bit drier on the surface and a bit more damp inside. So to wedge, I always stand up and I rock forward, pull the edge back and fold it over and you go rocking right, rocking backwards and forwards. If you put one foot in front of another behind you, you're more likely to get a good rocking motion. And you're not just using your hands to press it, you're using your shoulders and your back and the whole of your weight. So you push it down, fold it over, push it down, fold it over. And you keep doing that until you think you've mixed it all up nicely. Okay, so we've wedged the clay. If we break the clay in half and then half again, we should be able to make two egg cups out of these and use this for decoration. But it's a good idea to put it back in a bag or under some damp cloth so it doesn't dry out. Because if your clay dries out, it will crack and then you won't be able to build anything with it. And you don't want cracks in it. So, we're going to make this into a round ball. And we're going to do a technique called pinch pot. So once you've got your round ball, stick your thumb in it, right the way down to the bottom, but not all the way through. Balance it on your hand, and you're just going to pinch it, and that's where the name comes from, pinch pot. Pinch at the bottom first, not at the top. If you pinch at the top, again you'll get cracking, which we're trying to avoid. So turn and pinch and turn and pinch as you move it round. Keep pinching it, keep, keep going round. And there we are, look. Basically, your, your egg cup, cup shape, ready made. So I'm gonna smooth the edges a bit. I want a nice round shape. Now another thing you need to remember when you're doing pinch pots or anything else with clay, is when it goes, when it, as it dries and all the water evaporates away, it shrinks. It shrinks about 10 to 15%, depending on the clay and the temperature you fire it at. So I've got an egg here, but I'm not going to do it that size because it's going to shrink. I'm going to do it just a bit bigger. So it's a little bit bigger so that I know when it shrinks, there'll be enough room for the, the, the egg in there. So the next thing I'm doing is using my fingers to smooth the edge. Can you see all the little cracks around the edge? You don't want those, so we're just going to smooth it. Okay. There we go. Nice and smooth. Make sure the edge is... Try and get rid of some of these fingerprints on the edge as well. Smooth and round. Look, there's a big crack there, a big mark there. I don't want that. I'm using the edge of my thumb just to smooth it round. Take time over this because it will make it look so much better. The finish is so important. There we go. Lovely. To make slip, you put a little bit of water in the bottom of your pot and then you add tiny pieces of clay. And you mix it up 
and you keep mixing until it becomes like a creamy goo. I'll turn it off while I mix. There you are, it's all mixed up. It's sort of like a creamy effect when it's the correct consistency. Nice and thick. That should help it stick together. So now we're going to make the head for the rabbit. We uh, roll it into a ball. Rolling two hands together, or you can roll it on a surface. Um, there we go. I'm just going to put it against the pot and see if it's about right. I think I'm a little bit too big. Let's make it a bit smaller, shall we? We'll roll it around again. When you're making this shape, it might be better if it's just a little bit more of an oval than a complete round. The next thing, we, I'm just going to see if it fits. I think that's about right, maybe a bit flatter. I'm going to use my thumbs to make some marks where the eyes are going to go. Here we go. So there, we've put two indents using both my thumbs, and then we're going to put a little nose in the middle and the ears at the back. So we'll draw a little mouth later. So we've got the head. The next thing we're going to do is the ears. I'm going to roll the ears out like a sausage. I want two about the same size. There we go. Ooh, I think I'm a bit longer to put it on the end, I suppose. Yeah, right. There we go. I'm going to use my thumb, just, or, or my finger, just to press it out a bit. There you are. See, they're slightly flattened. I'm going to put a point on the end. And I'm going to use the cocktail stick just to give it a little bit of detail there look there we go I'm going to flatten a bit bigger at the back base so we can maybe curve it a little bit the next thing we're going to do is a little nose make a teeny little ball like this a bit big make it smaller still and if you just pinch your fingers together like that, and then you press on the side like that, you're going to end up with a little triangle shape. Tweak, tweak, pinch and tweak, and then you end up with this little teeny triangle. Perfect for a little lip. And that's going to go on the face. So we've got the two marks where we're going to draw the eyes. I'm going to use the cocktail stick, and we're going to do what's called scoring. Make some marks on the back of where you want the nose to be, and on the head. We're going to use the slit that we've made earlier. There we are. We'll just paint that on there. And then push it down. Make sure it's really firmly attached, because you don't want your nose falling off. There we go. So we've got a head, and we've got a little nose attached. Let's try for the ears now. Again, we're going to use the slit. We're going to use the cocktail stick to attach the slip, make some nice marks at the bottom. There we go. Um, we also need to make some marks at the back of the head, some scoring with your cocktail stick. There we go. Can you see that? Lots of scoring. A bit more slip. going to put some slip on the end of the ears as well. Just some, some slip on the ears. There we go. And attach the two wet surfaces together. And just wiggle it in a bit. Because you want it to be attached very firmly and smooth it round at the bottom. Again here, just a bit of slip. Stick it on. I'm just looking at the little face. Look, the ears are flopped. I quite like that. I'm going to have it flopping one side. I think I might have one standing up. While the clay is soft, it's the best time to make these sort of details difference. It's easier to mould it. It's quite malleable. Once it's dried, it's really hard to change mistakes. So as you're going along, just have a quick check. Do I like that? Is what I was nice hoping to look like? If it isn't, just wiggle it about a bit. It's great clay. It's so responsive. It changes all the time. And if it's not right the first time, make it right the second time.
Stir four. Doesn't matter how many times you do it. There we are. I think that looks quite cute, doesn't it, with the one in Henry there? So now we've got to score the back. There we are. And I'm going to score the back of the little where I want it on the egg cup that we pinned to the pillow here. There we go. Small slip, pop that on there. Work it into those those grooves you cut in. And here, look, a bit on the back here. And now we're going to attach it. Press it quite firmly because you don't want it to fall off again. And wiggle it in. There we go. Don't want to use your eyes though. There. Now I'm going to have a look at this face. Now he's got no mouth and he's got no eyes. So I'm just going to use the cocktail stick, make two little eye holes. There he is. Let's just looking the other way there. And a little nose. And I'm going to see dots on his face as well. Oh, he's looking quite cute now. I quite like to use the end of the cocktail stick and just make some little nostrils as well. There he is, he makes his little face. So once you glaze that, that will show up a bit more. Oh, he's got these lovely floppy ears, they keep flopping, but I do like that. There we go. Now the last thing I was going to do on this egg cup is I was going to do a little fluffy tail. So again, we're going to roll it around and make it nice and smooth. Make sure there's no cracks on it and no marks. I'm going to use the cocktail stick again. This time, we're not going to use the end. We're going to use the side of it and just press it in rows so it looks like it's hairy and fluffy. Can you see that? It's hairy and fluffy all the way along, making little marks sticking up right the way round. And the back we're going to score it. And the back of the egg cup we're going to score. Put a bit of slip on both pieces. And there we go. And I'm going to just push it down. Trying not to flatten too many of the fluffy bits. Now this is when you go round it and just check it's actually looking like you want it to. Mine's dried out a bit because I've been talking too much I think. And uh, I'm just going to smooth the edges. Make sure the ears are where I want them, the face is as I want it. Take the time now because it really does make a difference getting the details right now. Just smooth it. Enjoy the feel of the wet clay. There we go. There he is. There's a little bunny rabbit with floppy ears and a fluffy tail.